hi welcome back to my channel today is the 3rd of December why I'm thinking it is day three of vlogmas today I'm going to have a a very short um, vlog I've had grandchildren here today and I've not been feeling very well so I haven't done that much the only thing I've wet on is my socks so my only update is I have got two rows left to do of the legs. I am doing them two at a time using 2.25 mil um, magic loop. And I made a slight mistake. They are very, very slightly out. Not as I'm bothered, but I actually realised that day I could have took a little bit off. But by the time I realised, I was like, cannot be bothered but they meant taking like all of this off so it's fine they'll be fine like they are so yeah so i'm using i've got oh two project keepers on both sides yeah let me just swap one here so my need these needles are my knit pro novas they're okay i don't like the cables the cables uh, when they get longer, then the cables are not that great. The tips are fine, and these ones are quite are very smooth. But I will be getting some of the um, Chagu needles. So yeah, so, so they are my two stitch marks. I have a, an angel on one and a snowflake on the other. So that is what I have done. My yarn is. I have it. Um, is. Truly wool rich in a sock of this colour, which is 75% superwash wool, 25% nylon, and then the cuffs, heels, and toes are um, West Yorkshire Spinner sock. And I think it's the peacock colourway. This one, I'm not sure. I need to find out what this one is because at the moment it has a number, but I do need to actually look it up and see if it actually has a name. So, yeah, so they are my Christmas socks and I want these done by next week. So I'm literally, these are my main focus. I haven't done any on my Alvin Cowl. I might, if I get a chance, I shall do that tonight. If not, I'll do two tomorrow. I would like to get it done tonight. So this morning when I was awake ridiculously early, I actually videoed me knitting Um. one section on these socks so i shall actually put that in at the end of this video so you could see what i was doing and that was about six o'clock this morning so the only thing i'm going to be doing next week if i get a chance i went in our local Audi. they do some fat quarters um yarn uh yarn fabric and they do a lot they, they had a lot of the disney stuff and they're getting rid of it so i actually picked up some light wood yeah this is for to make a project bag for my youngest grandson and then I'm going to actually put his name onto it but his name is going to be on some Ada and I'm going to um, um, embroider his name on some Ada and then put it on so you get uh, that piece and then I need to see if need to go to the other Audi to see if they've got any more I'd like to get another one of this one. So that's a good lining one. And then you get them two. And that one. So that is the first lot. And then I use the ribbon. It's really good for the backs. So I keep them. Then my other grandson. Here's his Spider-Man. Are they all here? No, there's a piece missing. One, how many do you get in the pack? Five, one, two, three, four. Hold on, it's going to go in the drawer and get the other one. There's a big, the main piece is missing after that. Uh, oh, there oh, yes, it's one of the main pieces. So here's is. Um, that one, and that one, uh, that one, that one, and that one. So 
one. That one's quite good. So yeah. So they are the ones I have. Two of this one. I picked another one up of these today. I don't think they'll have them on the website. If I can find them on the website, I'll link them. But that's if they have them in. Because different... It depends on where you live in the UK. Different houses have different stuff. And they... Um, and they do a template, which for this one is making, I think it's bunting. So they give you the template for bunting. Some of the other ones, they are like patch, patchwork squares. But these are going to be project bags. So they're going to be like bigger ones than this. Um, they're going to be about this size. So this is like, a, uh, this has my M Callan. So this is a jumper size. They're going to be that, like that sort of size. So it's big enough to get a jumper in and then they'll have the names on. And then I need to do one for my other grandson. I'd like to get some football fabric for that. And the two girls ones. I wanted something Disney for the eldest granddaughter. And then I, ha I do have Bambi, but I've only got one lot so we need to find something for the two grandchildren the two daughters uh, granddaughters sorry so, yeah so that is literally what i've done today not a lot so tonight i'm going to for my sock <clears throat> um because i do them two at a time normally i would Put them onto a separate cable, um, a smaller needle, which is a small length cable, but the same size needle. But I seen one where the I can't think of her name. There's a lady on YouTube. Oh, and she shows you a different way to do heels and stuff but yeah it's all on the same needle who is it by I think it's the crazy sock lady Yeah, so it's the, um, no, that's the wrong lady. Um, let me find the right one. Yes, this is crazy sock lady. Um, she's got a two at a time tutorial, but she keeps, she puts one to one side on the, on the cable needle, on the cable. And then she works the heel and the cuff, the cuff, the heel and the gusset. And then you pick up one side of the gusset and then you go to the other one. So I'm going to watch that tonight. So it is. So turn the sound down. I don't want to be deafened. And I'll show you quickly the intro. And if it will let me. Let me get the intro. Uh, let me just see if she actually, because if she's got it on her website, she might have it through there. Um, I know it's just two at a time sock. But yeah, so I, I, was, I thought I'd have her intro bit on. But um, I'm going to actually read, watch it 
and see how she does it and see if it's any different and if it's just, if it's not i'll just do how i normally do it which is fine but um i am going to go because i'm going to join this video onto tomorrow's and then have the two together because tomorrow's not going to be a very big one either because i've got family here and then um i shall put them both together and see how we get on right i shall go for now i'll speak to you later my channel today is december 4th fourth day of vlogmas i'm feeling a bit better today so i'm going to actually do this video when i've done this video i'm going to join it on to the next one because last night i wasn't feeling too good so uh, but it's ready to go there is a bit of footage of me knitting that i will add on to the last one before this one and then then this one will go on to it so today I've worked on two projects. I have worked on my advent cowl and my yarns are truly wool rich and this one in cream. Uh, I don't know what happened to my other one. And then they're in uh, knit cozies which are by Knitty Natty. And then the blue one is my Zorba ball in denim. So I have, I am on um, day four of my cow, and it's now changing, going oh, try not drop. So it is going from very dark. So this is the Candy Mountain cowl, but this is now my advent cowl. So it's slowly fading into a lighter colour. And then I think it gets darker. So it will change the more I use. So yeah, so I'm really pleased with that. So we'll, we'll see how long it is. So it's a good length. I don't know where my tape measure is. Do I have one for that? Let me check. So in this bag I have a, I'm using this tin that I picked up, which is really cute. So and there's a little baby tin inside and that's got like stitch markers and stuff inside. But I have a tape measure in here. And that's why I put them little folds for scissors. These are what I use when I go on a plane. So they're perfect for travelling with because they completely go out and they are quite blunt but they are quite sharp and because I take my on the plane and they are what I use if I find them I'll have a look on the internet I could do with some more I did I 
the shop I went to, um, which is about 40 minutes from here, they didn't have any in, which was, and I wish I should have got a couple of pets when I went. So I will try and find some. And if I do, I will link them. So I'm up to seven and a half inches. So that's quite good. So yeah. And because once it's done, it, I shall will join it with this on the other end. And then once I once we come to Christmas Day, Christmas Day will go into this. So I'll do 25 days. We'll see how long it is. And if I need to finish it then, or maybe add a bit more. I don't know, because I've not really read the pattern to see how long the pattern says, but I don't want it as long as the pattern, because it was quite long. So let me just put my stuff in the tin. So, yeah, so this one just lives in the bag. There is actually a proper bag for this one, but I just put this one in here for now. It's fine. Because it has this one bag I've got, I'm using my Eeyore bag, has already a pocket in the middle. So the pouch I have doesn't really need to, it can fit in it, but I'm using that one at the moment. So yeah, so that is living in that bag, which I'm really pleased. My second focus is my jumper and I need to put a project keeper, progress keeper on it because I just haven't done it. So this is living in this bag that I made, which I have fabric to make another one, which will be very slightly smaller. And it's connected to my yarn genie. I will link one of these. Um, I know Wool Warehouse have them. I got mine from my local, my local shop. And you can buy extras of these, the bobbin. And then the stand bit it goes on to, you can buy extras of them as well. So that is my wall genie and it's on a magnet and it, it just moves. So it's, yeah, wrap it in the right way. And if it's honest, because I've got it moving at the moment, so right, you're going to stop. And then when you start knitting, it's very, very slowly just untangles as you knit and then just moves but it won't do it while I'm I don't know if I can put it on here hold on let me just put it in there there which I do need to actually have it on there anyway so if I push me further back there you go because then I can finish the row I am on I am on a I think it's an increase row. I just need to just check Oh, yeah. So I've finished the increase row. I'm just moving back on the floor. So let's see if we can get it where it, it'll move. If it's on a slightly unsteady um, surface, it won't move as easy. It will still move, but it might get caught. It just saves me mucking around, having to... Um, have us working from the centre. I don't think I've got enough to go because I want to finish this row. So if I tug it slightly, see it move. And it just moves. One of the ladies at, at the craft club her cat likes it so when you are knitting it uh unless it gets caught we're just getting caught underneath so if it gets caught underneath i tend to just squeeze it and that just um helps to control especially if it starts collapsing so, yeah. we'll stop and move somehow well you stop oh there you go so it was stuck but um but as you knit it will just slowly unravels and you don't even notice it's slowly unraveling and it just it just unravels all on its own so yeah and it's really good i have one of these ones they're okay but they 
don't do what that does. So these are not bad. They're not my favourite. But I keep that one up here. So yeah. But this one, I would like another one to have upstairs. So yeah, we'll leave that there. So my cardigan, I am doing the Pure Comfort Cardigan by, which I did not bring my iPad off because it's on there. Um, have I saved? No, it's not on there. And I need to put it in here as well because I haven't actually put it into my rubber yet. So I'm doing the Pure Comfort cardigan now. By Andrea Yetman. So I am doing that cardigan. I am doing the small, which comes out a 44 inch chest because the pattern recommends to have between eight to 12 positive inches positive each. And that is, the size the lady is wearing, she's a she's a 34 chest, which is the same chest as me. So that works really good. I just need to put my marker in the middle. Actually, I need to go to there. So I have done the first set of increase rounds. I am on the second set. And then I can split for the sleeves. And then after that, I think it's just plain knitting for like 11 inches. So I have done that much. So I'm really pleased with how the colour's coming out. And I'm doing it on a US 6, which is a 4 mil for the body. And I think it's a 3.25 for the border, which is, I can't know what that is. Maybe a five. I, I can't remember which way which, which way round it goes. So yeah, but in the UK it's a two point two five, three point um, two five mil. So that is my um, what I've done. So I've done two increases on the second set, and I did twelve on the first for for my size. And then my yarn is King Cole Mood Duet in the Moody Blue colorway. So they are what I've worked on and I want to get this finished tonight. So that is why the increases and the increases are quite, <clears throat> excuse me, they're quite nice increases. So there's no like no holes in the, in the raglan increases. So that's really good. So yeah. And then I have put my stitch marker in, and where it goes, oh, no, that way. Because this is the start of the second, and I've got to do, I think it's eight altogether for my size. And then I can split for these sleeves, which would be good. So tomorrow my plan is to, if I haven't split for the sleeves, I want to try and get this done, and then maybe do a little bit but I want to work on my cowl, which will be worked on every day. Um, and I want to finish, I've got about two, three rows left on my socks. And then I'm going to start the first heel. Get the first heel and the first pick up for the gusset done and then start the second heel. And that, um, it's, there's a video for the Crazy Sock Lady has got a video on what you do for if you if you're doing magic loop two at a time socks. I'll link that, but um, I haven't done it yet. But um, if I struggle with that, then I will just put one sock on a separate needle and do them separately. But normally I try not to. But yeah, and then I'd like to get them socked on this week. They are my plan to get done. And then once they are done, then I can carry on with the other bits I've got. 
So that is what I'm going to do. But I would like to get quite a bit of this done before Christmas. And then I've got to wrap uh, Misty's present up. There's going to be something extra to go with that, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to say what it is. But there is an extra present to go in. And I was like, she might. Well, she can have that as well. So I do need to wrap two presents for her now. So yeah, but um, I need to find new one. in my cupboard downstairs which I do need to sort out but um so that is what I'm going to do so I shall go for now and um I shall talk to you tomorrow I'll see you later bye